In today's video I want to show you how you can have a Telegram bot running on your Android device. We are going to use the bot that you are seeing right now where you can send a link to a video and the bot will return the file of that URL that you have just sent to the bot. Right now you can see that I'm connecting through SSH to my Android device but I'm in my desktop PC because you can use the bot wherever you are in your mobile device, on the desktop client, on the web client, etc. But first, let's take a look to the sponsor of this video, SwiftDo. SwiftDo is a PDF software, so you can edit PDF files, like it is a Word file, you can edit the text, edit the images, and you can convert PDF files to other type of formats, or you can convert even different type of images, like PNG, JPG, to other types. So thanks SwiftDo for the sponsor. You can run the Telegram bot on your Android device just with Thermux, or you can set up an Android home last server with an old Android device, like I have my tablet, my old Xiaomi Mi Pad 4, and I connect to it through SSH. Everything is explained in this video. So after you have everything set up, we are going to go to my repository, you can find the link in the description of the video, and we are going to follow all the steps. You have all the steps written in case you want to take a look at them. Basically, we are going to have Thermux installed on our Android device. If you don't know how to do it, don't worry, you have another video in the channel. I will leave the link in the description. But basically, we are going to update and upgrade all the repositories. You can see that here I'm connecting to the tablet through SSH. This is my Android device. Basically, it's an old Xiaomi Mi Pad 4. I can show you with the NeoFetch command. And we are going to update the repositories, update the packages, and later we are going to install Python, Python pip to install the third party libraries, and also git. So with these three packages, we are going to be able to run the Telegram bot, because we are going to use a Telegram bot based on Python. After installing all the packages, we need to get a token and create a bot in Telegram. For that, Telegram provides with an, an official bot called Botfather, so we need to talk to that user. This is a bot, and we are going to manage all our bots from this user. Basically, we are going to talk to this bot, and from this conversation, we are going to create new bots, delete them, or whatever we need to do. So, we are going to send the first command, which is slash new bot and follow the steps from the chat. Basically, this bot asks you for all the information he needs. First, you need to provide the name. This appears on the top of the conversation. Then you need to provide the username. This is the link to the bot. So you need to remember and it needs to end in bot. And you need to find a username that is not already taken. After that, you can see that the bot father gives you the token that we are going to use later to configure the template that I provide. I recommend you taking a look to all the list of commands because, for example, in this case, you have seen my token, but don't worry, I will delete this bot. But I also can revoke the token and create a new one. So just take a look to all the list, read what all the commands do, and you can manage all your bots from this conversation. For example, I will show you how to delete a bot. Um, be careful and I don't recommend you sharing the token online. So just have your token and if you think you share it in a wrong place, delete the bot or revoke the token so you get a new one. After you create the bot, you can talk to him with the username, but it is not going to answer because we don't have the bot running. So what we need is downloading the template that I provide you have here the command, so just copy it and paste it into Thermux in your Android device. And we need to modify the template so we can add the token that we have just created. In this case, I will create a folder called Telegram bot and I will download the template here. So I copy the command and paste it. As you can see with the command ls, here we have the file that we have just downloaded. So we are going to modify with nano. Inside the file, we need to look for the line that says token and replace your token here. So delete the thing that is between quotes and paste the token. But the token needs to be between the quotes, like you are seeing right now. After that, Ctrl O and Ctrl X to save and exit the file. And now we need to install the third party libraries that this bot uses. So you have the command in the repository, the pip command. So we are going to install 
YouTube DLP. This is a third party library to manage YouTube videos through the URL. And we're going to install the Telegram bot library. So copy the command and paste it into the terminal and run the bot with the Python and the name of the bot. Now you can see that we have just received a message from the bot because when we send the slash start command, we need to get the welcome message. So we know that the bot is running fine. I recommend you taking a look to the code of the bot. If you don't know something, you can ask ChatGPT to explain what this does so you understand it better. But basically we have two methods, one for the start command and one for the slash YouTube command. So for example, let's copy the URL from a video. You can open any video you want, copy the URL and now go to the Telegram bot. You need to send slash YouTube and the URL and you will see that after a few seconds you get a message that everything is being processed. In the terminal you can see the progress bar of the downloaded progress and after the video is downloaded it will send an mp4 video to you and basically this is the implementation that I have done in the template but you can modify it as you prefer so you can add new commands for example slash weather and it provides you with the weather from your city or whatever thing that you want to try this is a very good project if you want to start learning python because you can add a few commands and do some mini projects like getting the weather from an ip or analyzing a url that you send or whatever that you prefer and to finish the video, I want to show you how to run the bot in background. So if you close the SSH session, it won't stop. Basically, it is the same command, but with an ampersand at the end. This way, you can close the SSH session and there is no problem. And the bots, as you can see, are answering our message. So this way, you can have the Telegram bot in the background. Now, if you want to stop the bot, you need the process ID or the PID. For that, we are going to use the ps command and we are going to kill the process. In the repository, I have updated it and I have added a new command because for some reason, the command p kill doesn't work for me properly. But if I use the command kill 9, it works. And now I want to show you a bit the Telegram bot code. So in case you are interested and you are not that familiarized with Python or whatever, you know what it does. Basically, this is the method for the start command. And you can see that in this part, we are saying that if we receive a start, we are going to call the start method, which only sends a message. And in the other way, we have the YouTube method. And this is a bit more complex. This is how YouTube DLP works. And it takes a URL and download from that URL the video, or I think you can modify it to download just the MP3. Also, if there is any problem during the process, it sends a message about it was an error and also it removes the video once it is downloaded so it doesn't occupy more space. But I recommend you using ChatGPT and asking for adding new methods or just asking what is this method or what this YouTube DLP code does. Also, I recommend you taking a look on the internet because there is a lot of cool project so you can add that telegram bot functionality from other places to this bot also don't forget that you have this thermos projects repository and you have the thermos desktop in case you want to have a linux environment on your android device so i hope you liked the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know if you want more videos like this focus on an android home lab server we have already covered nas sharing basically folders on the network, SSH, and now a Telegram bot. So let me know for any other ideas.